Hi, Aditya sir. Now you are the host. You can start the meeting. Okay, it's up to you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi guys, this is Aditya. Okay, so today's uh, we are going to um, uh, let me explain my uh, let me share my screen first. Uh, okay. Okay. So, guys, uh, we are going to uh, learn about the firewalls of 148 firewalls, and uh, we used to uh, say 148 is a company, guys, and we uh, the, the product of the firewall is called 48. I will explain something more. Uh, before going through, uh, I will let me introduce myself, guys. So, uh, I have a more than 12 years of experience in the uh, network securities, and I'm a working professionals. And I have done lots of certifications like uh, CCI. Um, I've done CCI. Also, I have done uh, um, some cloud certifications, firewall certification like Palo Alto, Checkpoint, CCSA, CCSC, PCNSC. So I have, I have gone through lots of certifications in my life, in my career here right now. And it's still pursuing, guys. Okay. So that's what some brief introduction of myself. Okay, guys. So this is... Uh, 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 in, in today's class, we are going to learn about the 14 firewall, guys. So before going to the 14 firewalls, let me introduce yourself. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me explain that 14 firewalls, we, we generally also used to say it's a 40 gate. Okay. 40 gate. Like 14 is a company who is making a firewall. This uh, product name is 40 gate. 40 gate is a firewall. Okay. And it's a network security device. Okay, guys, so in the 40 gates, uh, in the 48 certification for the network security engineer, uh, we have uh, like a four certification NSC4, NSC5, NSC6, NSC7. Okay, so guys, uh, in this course, uh, what we are going to explain, so whatever I'm explaining, guys, we, uh, till the, uh, uh, in the end of the sessions, guys, you are able to complete from, from NSC4 to NSC7. Okay. So we are going to explain everything, each and every topics of all four certifications, NSC4 to NSC7. So once you complete, uh, you know, uh, after the sessions, you would be able to uh, know that that you are being an expert of the 40 gate firewalls. Okay. And nowadays, guys, there are lots of opportunities and lots of demand of 40 gate firewalls in all over the world. I have uh, even I worked uh, in in abroad as well, outside the countries, and I have seen that there is a huge demand of 40 gate firewalls everywhere. Okay, guys. So let's give uh, some brief ideas of all these certifications. So like uh, even I have, uh, yeah, like uh, in NSC4, NSC4 is generally used to say network security professionals, guys. And in NSC4, we would learn, we would learn the some uh, some certifications, uh, some topics. What are the topics we are going to learn about that, guys? So before NSC4, as I explained, that is uh, is exp uh, known as network security professionals. NSC5, they are telling for it as a network security analyst. And to go for someone would go for NSC uh, NSC6 certification that would call call network security specialist certifications and. For NSC7, they used to call network security architect. So guys, we are going to cover all of this, like the syllabus of NSC4 till NSC7 in these sessions, okay? Okay, now guys, uh, let's begin the class now. So let's come to the topic. So what we are going to explain, guys, so I'm going to explain 40 gate deployments, okay? So we, uh, in this 40 gate deployment, guys, like there are lots of module, guys, I will, I will even explain, this is just for, a uh, you know, I've taken it just a small one, not one. Okay, I will show you when the class will start. I will show you. Uh, I will show you all the topics. Okay, these are just a brief topic, guys. So we will learn about how we can uh, build a lab. Okay, how we can, uh, you know, uh, firewalls. Uh, we can uh, up the firewalls or create a, a lab from scratch. We are going to learn about the security policies. How to create a security policies? How to create a netting VPNs? Everything's even for the see that for how to create a security NAT, policy NAT, okay, central NAT, those things, how we can create that and also how to verify that we are going to learn in these sessions. Also, how, how we can do the content inspect, uh, inspection. Guys, we know that uh, the 40 gate firewall is the next generation's firewall. Okay, I want a language in Hindi. Guys, uh, I'm comfortable with any of the language like English and Hindi. 
uh, hey Rawal, uh, okay, understand. So we can conclude. This is like demo session for today. So we'll go with the Hindi. Definitely, if you guys having a demand after this session, so we'll make it one session in a demo also in Hindi as well. There's no problem. Okay. Okay. So just try to understand because this today is a first. So we'll try to make the international language because the audience is from the anywhere. So okay. we'll make the separate session for the Hindi as well. No worry, you can ask the question. Sir will definitely explain Hindi as well. Okay. Okay. Sir. Thank you. I appreciate. Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah. So, if you have any uh, doubt in Hindi as well, I can explain in Hindi as well. No worry. Okay. Okay, guys. Even for the content session, guys, you know that uh, all is next generation firewall. So, how we can do the URL filtering, content filtering, antivirus filtering? Uh, how we do the WAF, DOS attack? How we go for, uh, to the 40 firewall? Okay, even I try to explain those things, even in L, uh, L2 routings, even for the SD and for the VPN, what is IPC VPN, SSL VPN, how to configure VPNs, those things. Those things go everything I'm going to cover, guys. Okay, so this is just for the introduction. Let's start the class, guys. Okay, so guys, uh, we know that. Uh, okay, uh, let me ask the questions. I just uh, Aditya sir, I believe your voice is breaking somewhere. Can you check? Uh, I believe I lost. No worry, guys. I believe uh, there is some bad connection. So just allow a few minutes. He will join again. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I understand. Understand. Aditya, sir. Audible. Uh, audible, guy. No, sir, your voice is breaking. Hello. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm okay. My Wi-Fi looks good. Okay, is it fine? Uh, now let bit little bit fine. Okay, just make me uh, host. Okay, okay. Let me let me make you the host again. Just give me one minute. Yeah, so you a host. Okay, guys. Okay, so uh. Let me going to ask one question. So we have a uh, more than 18 people here. So guys, how many of you knows that what is firewalls and what is the exact use of the firewalls and what, what are the main features of firewalls? Anyone can explain that guys, anyone have idea of what is what firewall actually doing into the network? Anyone just. Guys, hello, anyone. Uh, it protects trusted network exactly. from unwanted. Okay. Traffic. So I'm now going to explain if uh, like we have a uh, lots of uh, 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 students are joined. So if anyone have don't know idea about the firewalls, I'm going to explain the very features of uh, basic of firewalls. Now we have learned that what we are going to cover in these sessions. Okay. So guys, what happened in the 1980s uh, when the, all the networking stuffs are started. So that uh, period of time we have a routers and we have a switches. Okay. And at that point of time, we have a connectivity between the, you know, from the uh, one PC to other PC that was smoothly going through. Okay. Even with the help of routers, guys, we can easily from the one location to the uh, other location, we can simply able to connect that. Okay. But what happened after that in the uh, earlier 1990s, the hacker come to the pictures and they are start stealing the data of, okay, of the server. So guys, we are network security engineers. So our main job is to protect our data. So guys, what happened? Uh, our, you know, the, the data is very, very important. Okay, we have to be protect our data. So for protecting, protecting the data at that time, there was no any special or specific device are there who's actually preventing the attack or preventing the unauthorized access of the server or, or any of the devices. 
routers are basically it has a little bit features but not a specific because it's made for the routings okay so that point of time there was no such a specific device who's actually protecting our data or protecting our network from the unauthorized access okay so then guys a firewall came to the picture firewall is a network security device what is it it's a network security device who's actually what it does if any any of the people of or like uh, if you see that like if any of the legitimate user, what firewall is, firewall is a kind of a set of rules. Firewall is following some set of rules. Okay, firewall following the set of rules. With the set of rules, firewall taking the decision, like whoever from the outside, like from the internet, who can come and take the access of my server. Okay, not from the one side, even from the both sides as well. But firewall, like how, the with the help of set of rules only, firewall will decide, who can come like only a legitimate user, like he's a legitimate user. What is the meaning of legitimate? Legitimate user means he has an authority. This PC, this user has an authority to come to the network our, our organizations and access the server. Okay. And like if there is any hacker into the network, and if he try, uh, like from the outside internet, and if he try to access of any of my server, he, he try to enter to my network, firewall will simply check that and check the rules that there is a no rules, there's a no policy that this hacker should come enter into the network and firewall will simply block the traffic or drop the packet. So that's how guys with the help of set of rules, my firewall is protecting the network. So firewall is a what? It is a network security device which is actually helping to unauthorized access, okay? Which actually helping from the unauthorized access. So this is what firewall guys. So the, the definition of firewall we just learned that firewall is a network security device which helps organizations to protect them from unauthorized access to their private resources. That's it. So now we come to know what is firewall and what is the working of firewall. That point is clear. That point is clear, guys. Anyone have any doubt? What is firewall and what is the working of firewall? Anyone have any doubt? Clear? Okay. Now come. So guys, uh, uh, we all know that how many types of firewalls, okay? So uh, there are multiple types of firewall guys, but I'm going to explain some uh, four to five types of firewalls, okay? Those are the very important. So, okay, uh, before going to that, anyone knows how many types of firewalls? Anyone can explain that? How many types of firewall, anyone? Any idea? Sir, types of firewalls means it's a vendor or asking about uh, it. No, 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 no. स्टेटफुल तो है मैं जस्ट इसके बाद बताऊंगा और देखो टाइप्स ऑफ फायर वॉल में ये नहीं होता है की वेंडर्स लाइक सिस्को बना रही है फायर वॉल ए एस एसको ए एस ए बना रही है पैलवल्टो बना रहा है वो नहीं वो टाइप्स ऑफ फायर वॉल नहीं होता है ये तो वेंडर बना रहे हैं फायर वॉल ये सब ये सारे के सारे फायर वॉल के कितने टाइप्स होते हैं वो है ठीक है वो हम चलते हैं देखते हैं ठीक है क्योंकि हम हम फायरवॉल ही वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फायरवॉल सो वी शुड हैव नो द बेसिक्स ऑफ द टाइप्स ऑफ फायरवॉल इफ यू गो टू द एनी इंटरव्यू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दे गोना आस्क व्हाट इज द टाइप्स ऑफ फायरवॉल्स डेफिनेट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दे गोना आस्क ओके सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दैट ओके एंड वंस इफ इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट लेट मी नो आई विल एक्सप्लेन इन अ वेरी वेल मैनर ओके सो गाइस इन द 1990s द फर्स्ट दिस इज द इट्स कॉल्ड पैकेट फिल्टर फायरवॉल ओके पैकेट फिल्टर फायरवॉल आल्सो इज अ लीगेसी फायरवॉल और और ओल्ड फायरवॉल्स ओके and we also used to say packet filter firewall as a stateless firewall why we used to say i will explain that in a manner in, in a minute okay it's also a stateless firewall let me explain why let's go so what happened in the packet filter firewall so like this is my firewall okay and there is a one pc and there is a one pc okay like um, okay this is pc1 this is pc2 and the ip of pc1 is 10.1.1.1 and the ip of pc2 is 10.2.2.2 okay now if this pc1 want to access pc2 okay so we have to be create a, as i said firewall in the firewall we create a policy like set of rules so that set of rules called policy whatever the policy we will create okay that only that uh, whatever the policy we will create and allow it that only firewall will allow the traffic Otherwise, the rest it will block it. Okay, I will explain that. So, guys, uh, before going to that, I want to explain one thing. Okay, just tell me what is the one success? What is the one successful communication? 
It's a very basic. Like this PC1, PC2, if this PC1 want to access something of this server, so he will first send a communication to that. Okay, like he is an initiator. Okay, he is a, who is an initiator means what? Like who is initiating a connection? Whoever initiating a connection is called initiator. Once he will initiate the packet, then PC2 will respond it. Okay, that's why it's called respond. Got it, guys? So now we come to know who is, what is initiator, what is responder. We used to also say initiator as a source. This is a source. And the IP of this PC is called source IP. And we used to say uh, responder as destination. Okay, and the IP of responder is destination IP. Okay, so we understood. Hey, laga, lagega, aisa mat kar. Do. Okay, Aap mute karlo. Okay, mute karlo, guys. See that. Guys, see that. So one successful communication we required, like this PC1 initiate a packet, and then PC2 will reply to that. So one successful communication, it's required a two-way communication, okay? So two-way communication is called a one successful communication, like successful communication. That is clear, guys, because that is very important, okay? We know that if you're using like in the router event, like you guys even work on the routers, definitely you guys have a CCN ideas, could be. That's why I'm expecting that. So if router, uh, this is router one, this is router two, if this router one initiate any, uh, like he will, he will initiate any, any uh, connection, this router two will respond it back. Then only it's called a one successful communication, right? That is clear. If like this router only initiated a connection and this router is not going to be respond. So that what, then what happened? That is not a successful communication because he has to be respond. Then only it's called a successful communication. If, if it will not respond, then it doesn't mean, is uh, then uh, uh, it's not going to work. It's not a successful communication. The connection is not established. For establish a connection, both two sides communication is required. That is clear, guys. Okay. If it is clear, then we will understand the packet filter firewalls. Come here, guys. See the example here. Let me rub it. Okay. So, guys, the, now come to here. This is PC one with IP is ten one 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 one. This PC2 whose IP is 10.2.2.2. In between, we have a, my firewalls. Okay. So now PC1 want to initiate a connection. Okay. So he is an initiator here. Initiator means source. Okay. Initiator. Okay, guys. And now if PC2 will reply to that. Okay. So PC2 will become yeah, responder. Yeah. And also we used to say destination. Hey, no. Okay. Arush. Hey, mad de. Usko aake lene de. Uh, mute yourself, guys, please. Okay, understood. Now, guys, come on. Let's see that. What is the source IP here? Like this. Uh, so, how we can create the policy in the firewall? The question is, how we can create the policy in the firewall? So, how we can create the policy? See here, guys. We can create the policy. One, policy number one. Like, what is my source IP? Tell me, guys, what is your source IP here? This is a source IP, right? 10.1.1. Very good. What is my destination IP? 10.2.2.2. Very good. 10.2.2.2. And suppose this is initiating connection on destination. That is destination port. Destination port, I'm, I'm thinking 443. And action is allowed. Allowed. We have to make action is allowed. If it is not allowed, my firewall will block, uh, block it. So this source IP 10.1.1.1.1 going to the destination 10.2.2.2.2 with the port 443 action is allowed. So if I create this policy in the firewalls, okay. So in the, I'm talking about the packet filter, okay. Remember, so what happened, this firewall will only forward a traffic for one way, only one side. For the return traffic in the packet filter, for the return traffic, we have to be create one more policy. Otherwise, my firewall will block it. This was actually happening in the packet filter. It is not currently happening, but actually in the packet filter, even for the responding packet return, that's a reply. When PC2 will reply to that, even for the reply is coming, we need to create a policy in the firewalls. So now if traffic is coming from the PC2, now this IP become the source IP. Okay. So now what is the source IP then? 10.2.2.2 for the second policy. And this is become a destination. So, so 10.1.1.1, port number is same and action is allowed. So guys, for creating a one successful communication, one one communication, okay, 
we have to be create the two policy in the packet filter firewall. Okay, uh, understood, guys. We require a two way both sides two way policy two sides policy in the firewalls for one successful communication. Okay, why? Because packet filter firewall is allow or deny the traffic by checking the only source IP and destination IP addresses and services. Okay, it works on network and transport layer. So this is what guys. So uh, one more thing, like for one successful communication, for one successful communication, how many policy we are creating? Two policy, right? Inbound or outbound? Yes, inbound and outbound. So guys, for hundred successful communication, how many policy we have to be create? Two hundred. 200 very good 200 policy so you can say that for 100 successful uh, full communication we have to create a 200 policy it means this firewall is uh, this packet filter firewall it's actually consuming more memory more memory and also taking computing uh, it's taking more time time for computing more time for computing it means it was has a latency latency means your network is slow because it has to be go for it's a very lengthy we have to create a very lengthy policy right like if you have a 10 i have to be created a uh, 10000 successful communication so for creating a 10000 successful communication we have to be create a 20000 policy see that so it's taking more memory guys and it and for checking each and every policy it's taking more time to actually long time to compute so that's why this firewall is very slow Okay, guys, so packet filter is confirmed, uh, yeah, understood. Now come to the stateful firewall. Once you understand the stateful firewall, we will see some more difference between packet filter firewall and stateful later on, okay? Guys, come to the stateful. Stateful firewalls, like this is the same, same example I'm taking, guys, this is a firewalls, okay? PC2, PC1, the IP is 10.1.1.1, this PC is 10.2.2.2, .2 .2, okay, same thing. Now here, guys, for one successful, com if this PC1 initiating a communication, okay, initiating a traffic for PC2, he want to access a PC2 on port 443, how we can create the policy? So we can create a policy like source IP. Source IP is going to be 10.1.1.1 and then destination IP, that is going to be 10.2.2.2 .2 and then port number, suppose, destination port number, it is 443 and action is allowed okay so guys in the stateful firewall only one policy is actually enough even the reply is coming one policy is enough for successful communication it will allow that why it is i'm going to explain so one policy in the state guys stateful firewall is nowadays everyone using the stateful all my firewall is stateful okay no one using packet filter all firewall is stateful always remember so one policy is actually enough for one successful communication. But in the packet filter firewall, we require a two policy. But here, only one policy is enough for one successful communication. Why it is now understood? Because a stateful firewall maintain a state. It maintain a state table. It maintain a state table. We also used to say state table as connection table, or uh, like uh, we also used to say connection table or session table, okay? It has a, some different name as well. Like someone would say connection table, someone would say session table, all are same, okay? So it maintains the state table. So what information it, uh, it main, uh, maintained in the state table? So like this policy, if, if any traffic going from the firewalls, any traffic going from the firewalls, so this firewall would going to ma uh, maintain one, what is the source IP for that, okay? So like in this, uh, in this um, uh, example, uh, the source IP is 10.1.1.1, okay? Like if traffic going from one way, initiating from the PC1 to PC2. So, for, uh, so there is the one state table maintained, the source IP 10.1.1.1, then destination IP would be 10.2.2.2, .2 okay? What is my destination port? Destination port going to be 443, okay? Now, guys, it's also there is one more thing. There is one source port also going to be information. What is source port? I'm going to explain, guys. So let's have a discuss in in the state table. It's going to maintain the source IP, then source port, then destination IP, then destination port, and one more information, guys. 
session it create one session id okay it create one session id every session has one id like two three any number any number okay it's one session id okay so that's what the information it has for in the session table for each communication for every sessions okay let me explain the source code guys now come to here guys we know there are from 0 to 65535 five. that many ports are there okay only this is a range of ports total ports this is a range of ports guys out of that 0 to 1023 it's called a well known port okay well known port why it's called well known port let me explain these are the well known port means well known port means what guys like if you, you know uh, port number 21 21 like it's already defined 21 is used for ftp like 22 like tcp 22 is used for ssh right 23 is used for telnet right like 25 is used for smtp simple mail transfer protocol okay 49 is used for tacax okay 80 80 is for http 443 is used for HTTPS. So guys, like out of zero, from 0 to 1023, the services of the ports are already defined. That's why that's called well-known port. Okay, guys. And after that, from the port 1024 to 65535, this port used to call random ports. What used to say? Random ports. Random ports. It could be anything. Okay, anything. So what happened, guys? If any session would come, come here. Let me explain the uh, Like this is my PC, okay. And if it is try to connect with a, like internet, anything. I'm just typing uh, internet, okay. Google.com, whatever. If this if this PC will initiate any connection, so it will create the. It has a, some source IP, right? Like the source IP of this PC is standard one one one. It also has the information of source port. So source port guys, it will take the source port from any of the random port, any of the random port. Okay. Because this, this port has already defined port. So no gonna, it is not used as a source port. It will all, always use as a destination port. Always remember so these port are going to be used as a, because these are random port is going to be used as a source port. A source port could be anything, right? Like four, two, six, five, three, anything. Yeah. Okay. It could be anything from number one, zero, two, four, two, six, five, five, three, five. Okay. So. Let me explain, guys. Let's uh, I'll demonstrate you something. Like I have initiated the connection, lots of like Google dot. So hey, come to the CMD. Mm -hmm. And just type net state. If I you can see I have uh, established some connectivity with the internet as well. Okay. So you can see, just see the last one. Like this is my source IP, 192.168.0.103. That's my source IP. And this 55185, this one, guys, this is a source port. It's a random port. It could be anything. And like this is a destination 5298, 5034, whatever. And this is a destination port, HTTPS. Okay. So this is what the source port, guys. For each and every connection, source port is different. For the each and every connection, the source port is different. Okay, guys, always remember. This source port is actually is it has a very much uh, you know it's very much useful for segregate the sessions that we can learn later on so this is what the source port guys okay so now come here guys so so this state table guys in the state table in the state table guys uh, it maintain the what is the source ip what is the source port number it could be anything random port which is automatically generated by the pc it could be anything okay automatic it, it is automatically generated by the pc uh, we don't have any control yet. Okay. Now it's going to the destination 10222 with the port number 443. Okay. And it creates also session ID. So that's what the sessions table or state table is maintained by the firewalls. Okay, guys. Now, if this connection is going through one way, okay, and the state my firewall going to maintain the session for that. Okay. What protocol using everything so like 443 is a TCP. So if the return traffic is coming, guys, if the return traffic is coming. My firewall will match that if this connection is a new connection or existing connection. So it will check that the information in the state table. And the state table, it will find out that whatever this traffic is coming, it's an existing traffic because I have seen that there is the information already present in the state table. 
So that's why firewall not going to be check any policy and it will simply allow that. Okay, guys, so that's with the help of a state table, one policy is we have created for one successful communications, but, but in the packet filter firewalls, we require a two policy, right? But here guys in the stateful firewalls, because it's maintained a state table. So with the help of a state table, one policy is capable of, of the successful communications, right? Understood guys, anyone have any doubt? No? Clear. No, sir. Okay. Sir, ये, ये packet filtering you have to use ACL. Yes, ACL. Okay. But packet filter now is not used. It's a very old technology. Now it's stateful. Okay? Okay, let's see another thing. You know, uh, in the interview, guys also going to ask that what is the difference between stateful and stateless firewall? Stateless firewall. Stateless is what? Stateless is packet filter. Stateful is what? So we know now, now we understood, right? What is the difference between stateful and stateless? Like uh, we require the, it maintain the state, right? It maintain the state. Okay. It maintain the state table or whatever. It maintain the state table or state. Okay. And same thing, it doesn't maintain the state. Okay. Second things for one successful communication, it required a one policy. For one successful communication, it required a two policy. It is very, very fast. Okay, it's it is slow. Why slow? Because we it it is taking more con, it is taking more time or it consuming more time for checking the policy. Because for one policy, it is take we have to be created two uh, for one successful communication, we require two policy. So it will definitely is going to be take time because it's going to be lengthy, right? So likewise, guys, we can explain the difference between stateful and stateless. And we can see stateful is the now everyone is using a stateful firewall, guys. Or stateful is very, very fast. Okay, guys. So that's what the stateful firewall. Okay. Now stateful yeah. firewall is clear, guys. Okay. Any doubt? Yeah. Now, guys, no. we have a one application level gateway firewall. This is nothing. This is proxy. Okay. So that uh, that firewall, it's a dedicated a hardware firewall. Okay. Uh, like uh, if you know that blue code proxy, McAfee proxy, WebSense. Okay. That is all, all are the proxy firewall. So what this proxy firewall is actually working on application layer actually working on application layer so guys i'm uh, i'm thinking we, you all aware of osi reference model right if not i can explain in the classes the osi if required okay like we have an application layer it's a l7 right presentation layer right session layer transport layer and network layer data link layer right physical layer so we have a seven layer right so Application layer is actually working on the layer seven. So what it does guys, so earlier we have a firewall and from the firewall, it is connected with the uh, proxy and it's typing. It's a proxy, okay? So what is the use of proxy is? Proxy use is what guys? It's actually filtering out the websites. Like, uh, here is that. So what it does, like, like this is my proxy firewalls, okay, proxy firewalls. And we have a LAN network, okay, we have a LAN network. And like there is a users, okay. So like this is a PC1, PC2, PC3, PC4. If like this PC1 is uh, using by the HR, suppo suppose HR is a human resource, okay. He has, he has to be recruit the guys, okay. And PC2 is a, suppose it's a programmer, okay, programmer. But like a... And PC3 is like a, you know, a banker, okay? Or kind of a banking guys in the office, okay? He's taking the banking stuffs. And PC4 is a manager, okay? So guys, with the help of uh, proxy firewalls, like whoever going to the internet, I can filter the URL, okay? URL, URL means what? Any of the websites. So proxy firewall is actually filtering the websites, okay, with the help of category. I will explain the category. So like HR want to access Nokri.coms, okay, like any of the Nokri.coms, uh, any of the other monster.coms for the job portals, okay, any of the job portals websites. So guys, and like this is a programmer. I I don't want programmer get uh, any internet access, okay. And bankers, I want that this PC3 is a uh, banking user. I want that he can only access the banking websites like icacbank.com, 
एच डी एफ सी बैंक डॉट कॉम एस बी आई बैंक डॉट कॉम वट बैंक स्टॉफ एंड फॉर ही इज अ मैनेजर लाइक यूजर फॉर ही इज अ मैनेजर आई वॉन्ट हिम फॉर फुल एक्सेस लाइक ही कैन एक्ट बिकॉज ही इज अ मैनेजर ही वुड हैव अ फुल एक्सेस ऑफ द इंटरनेट सो लाइक वाइज विद हेल्प ऑफ प्रॉक्सी वी कैन क्रिएट द पॉलिसी लाइक दैट लाइक ईच यूजर हैज अ डिफरेंट वेबसाइट एक्सेस दैट वी कैन अचीव विद द हेल्प ऑफ कैटेगरी सो इन द प्रॉक्सी देर इज अ कैटेगरी गाइज कैटेगरी बेस्ड लाइक लाइक सोशल मीडिया ओके सोशल मीडिया इज वॉट गाइज एनी ऑफ द वेब लाइक एट फेसबुक डॉट कॉम ट्विटर डॉट कॉम दीज आर पार्ट ऑफ द सोशल मीडिया सो गाइज इफ यू अलाउड एनी ऑफ लाइक सोशल मीडिया कैटेगरी यू वुड हैव एक्सेस ऑफ ऑल द वेबसाइट बिलोंग इन दोशल मीडिया ओके सो गाइज लाइक वी हैव अ वीडियो स्ट्रीमिंग ओके स्ट्रीमिंग मीडिया वट इज स्ट्रीमिंग मीडिया स्ट्रीमिंग मीडिया मीन्स लाइक यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम वीमियो डॉट कॉम वेर वी कैन वॉच वीडियोज ओके सो इफ यू अलाउ द स्ट्रीमिंग मीडिया सो वॉट एवर द websites are actually for the streaming media uh, video uh, we can stream that or watch that those all websites part of the stream media so if you allow that he can able to access all of the streaming media access likewise for the banking and finance there is a category called banking and finance if i allow the banking and finance category so that banker can able to access all the banking all over the world all the banking websites all over the world So guys, we can also discuss all those things in the classes, guys. When the classes will start, okay. And for the full access, we can allow the manager full every all access of the internet. So likewise, guys, like like uh, this HR want a job portal, so we can have a job portals also, job portals category. So we can give HR as a only job portals category access, so he can only access of the job portals. So guys, if banker like uh, if banker want to access the uh, any of the banking websites, we can allow the category of banking category okay so likewise guys with the help of proxy we can separately give the access of the users to the internet website access that we can do that guys okay so those things i will explain how we can do that in the once the class will come for the proxy okay guys now guys uh, next generations firewalls guys we know that our uh, this fortigate firewall is a next generation firewall okay so what is next generation firewall before going to the next generation firewall let me explain the ips Okay, let me explain the IP. Guys, anyone knows what is IPS? Anyone knows what intrusion is IPS? Intrusion prevention system. Yes, it's a intrusion prevention system. Okay, so what it does, guys, intrusion prevention system. So it has a. It it has a database of signature. Okay, that that is has a data IPS has a database of signatures. database of signatures what kind of signature guys the this thing this is it has a database of signature but that signature is a attacks it's a attacks of signatures whatever the attacks like dos attack ddos attack dos means denial of service guys i will explain everything when the class will start i'm just giving a brief okay dos attack ddos attack those all attacks whenever happened since the beginning until then today whatever the attacks happen those all attacks has their signature signature means guys some kind of a coding okay coding to intercept the attack okay that particular attack that's why that coding is called signature so ips has a signatures of all the uh, attacks so like suppose guys if any users forward any packet so that packet first come to the ips ips will check this packet ipl uh, ips will what it does it will like this packet is coming from this pc ips will match all the signature with this packet okay and if if there is a no signature matching no match if there is a no match so it means guys this packet is safe there is a no any malware there is a no malware into that but if any signatures matches to this packet it means there is a any malware or any attacks any viruses anything any malware into that in the packet so that's what ips is doing guys okay ips is actually has a database of signature it helps to prevent the system from the attacks or intrusion okay guys now come to uh, that so guys we have learned about the stateful firewalls right we have learned about the proxy proxy and we have also learned about the ips there is one more thing guys threat prevention or like threat preventions or i used to say anti anti virus okay anti malware 
NT malware. Okay. Lots of things. Okay. There's, there are multiple things. I'm just typing threat prevention. Threat prevention. Guys, including, see that firewall is a dedicated hardware device. Proxy is a dedicated hardware device. IPS is a dedicated hardware device. Now, this could be a software, these three. Guys, including everything, including everything is now become a one firewalls. Okay. Now, these all firewall, these all features is now become into come into the one firewall and call it a next generation firewall. Okay. But only adding of all the, uh, you know, features into a one firewall, it doesn't mean that it's a next generation. There's also one features that it will process the packet, forward the packet, process the packet with a very fast manner. Okay, like it's processed the packet in a very fast manner. That's why there is a no latency, it's zero latency into the network. The bandwidth, there is a huge bandwidth into the, the network. Okay, processing of the packet is very, very fast into the firewall. That's why guys, that firewall is called a next generation firewall and our Fortigate firewall is a next generation firewall. So we will learn all those things, features about the Fortigate firewalls. Okay guys, everything, once the class will start. Okay guys. Now there's a one more types of firewall guys. There's a, it's called transparent firewalls. Okay. Transparent for firewall is nothing. It's called a, my firewall. Like we know that uh, firewall is working on L3 means network layer, right? So any device is work on network layer. Like router is also working on L3 like network layer. So any of the devices is working on layer three, it means if it is connected to that interface has to be required a one IP address. Okay, that is the meaning of L3. I will explain later on in the class. So in the L3 guys, L3 means in the network, any of the L3 devices, their interface has to be configured as a, in the interface, we have to be configured as a IP address. Guys, we know that in the switch, in the L2 switch, we know if it is connected to any of the devices, we no need to, we no need to uh, put the IP addresses in that interface, right? In the L2 switch, not required, right? Not required. In the L2 switch, we can see that we will not add any IP addresses. We will not assign any, uh, any, any IP on the, on the interface of the L2 switch. That's a feature of the switch, okay? So guys, that's what, just understand this. Um, now I'm going to explain what is transparent firewall and why it is, what is this important? Come here. What happened, guys? So, like, if if we have if we have a, some L three switch, okay, and there is my LAN office LAN, okay, LAN network, okay, <laughs> and guys, it's connected with my router. Connected with my router and that is internet connected. So, like what happened, guys? Uh, this is my L3 switch. It could be a one IP like 10.1.1.1, and it is directly connected to the router. Okay. And router has a could be it has a IP 10.1.1.2. So it is directly connected, right, guys? What up, man? This is the old topologies, and there is a no network devices in between. So could be your manager think that we required a one security device or firewall into between this, uh, between L3 switch and, and router here. We required a one firewalls. We are one to add to secure our network. Okay. So guys, we can't put in this topologies. If we'll put a L3, my firewall is a L3, L3 device. So then we need to assign the inter, uh, IP addresses on, on the interface of the firewalls. So that is create a very big mesh because for this L3 switch, all the routing is directly for uh, uh, the gateway of this L3 switch is this router. And the gateway of this router is to L3 switch, right? So whatever the routing we are doing for this L3 switch is directly forwarding to router. And for the router, all the traffic directly forwarding to the L3 switch. And if you are putting any L3 device in between, now instead of this router, this firewall going to be the gateway. So guys, if you're putting any firewall in between, it's going to be a very mess. Why mess? Because then we have to be do lots of configuration. We have to be do lots of changes of configuration in the, in the switch, even in the router as well. So that is create a mess, which I don't want. What we can do, we want to secure our network, but we don't want this mess. So we can 
there is a one technology is called the solution is transparent firewall where we can put my firewall as a L2. We can put my firewall as a L2. So if my firewall put as a, uh, uh, we can install my firewall as L2. So we no need to provide any or assign any IP on the interfaces. Okay, so that that uh, switch directly forward the traffic to the router as well. So what happened in the L3 switch and the router, there is a uh, firewall as well into between that. Uh, sit. Yes, we can before router as well, but yeah, there's one question. Can we put firewall before route? Yes, we can put route, uh, uh, firewall before router, but we know that if you put firewall here, we know that it is a router it's routed is main job is to the routing. So it could be, could be is some OSPF is running, BGP is running. So it is directly connected with the internet. So we need to the pro provide, we can do that. Most of the cases is do that. But if you have a very big network, if you have a very big network in that kind of time, firewall is not enough. Actually, we need to put the router, big series of router into the edge. Okay. So that would be good for that. We can put the firewall at the edge also, but it's for the small or medium size of network. It's depend on the how big your network it is. Okay. Now come guys. If you put a, a firewall as a L2, so that solution, uh, uh, that issue is going to be done. Okay. Uh, there's a no need to change any configuration. And as well, my firewall is, is going to secure my network. Okay. It's going to secure my network. So whenever any traffic is going from internet, we have to be create the policies and that policy all all my devices is going to be follow the policies and then it will allow it. Okay. So in this, even my firewall working as a L2 is still my firewall is providing a full, full network security. Okay. Full security. Okay. Full, uh, it, it is securing a full security, but there is some limitation guys like uh, dynamic. We can't configure dynamic routing into that. Okay. Limited like dynamic routing will not work when firewall is become a L2 or transparent firewall and even and uh, uh, like uh, VPNs, we want able to configure VPNs also. So only these two is a um, uh, limitations. Otherwise, my firewall is going to be provide a full security like a, like we can create all the policies, all the objects, uh, everything we can do, like we can do as a L3 firewalls. Okay, guys. So that's uh, 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 that's all for today, guys, for the um, uh, types of firewalls. We would have uh, some vendors of firewall guys, okay? Like Sonic Wall creating a firewall, WashGuard creating a firewall, Spiralto creating a firewall, or Fortinet creating a firewalls called Fortigate. Juniper also creating called SRX, okay? Cisco creating a firewall called ASA. Even FTD is creating one more, and next yes, and Checkpoint also creating a firewalls, okay? Stone Soft. So these are the vendors which are actually manufacturing the firewalls. These are the company, okay, guys? So. Uh, that's all for today, guys. Uh, in the next class, we will learn about the what is the packet flow of firewalls. Okay, that's I will explain that how we can uh, explain the packet flow. And then, guys, once I will explain that, then we will create the lab for FortiGate firewalls. Okay, we will do the lab on FortiGate firewalls, and I will explain how we can, like, we will put the you know firewalls. We can have some uh, PCs. We can connect with the firewalls with the internet, and then we can do some verifications. Uh, those all things guys we can do the all the basic configuration of the firewalls we, we can do okay in the next classes so that's all for today guys okay and uh, if if you have any doubt for the um, uh, certification guys uh, that um, that certification is actually very very important and very very demanding guys this uh, nsc certification is all over the world so that cert certification uh, uh, i would recommend guys go for the certification of, of the palo alto uh, sorry uh, uh, 14 firewalls okay guys Okay, so that's all for today, guys. If anyone have any doubt, any questions, please do let me know. Sir, you training, sir, NSC four training sir. Sir, NSC four five six seven पे देंगे ये हम हम देखो हम पढ़ाएंगे पूरा ठीक है मैंने भी explain किया ना ये four से लेके seven तक सारा बेसिक टू फ्रॉम बेसिक टू एडवांस लेवल हम सारे पढ़ने जा रहे हैं ठीक है तो जब अपना सेशंस कंप्लीट होगा ना आप चारों में से कोई भी एग्जाम दे सकते हो आपके पास पूरा आर्किटेक्ट लेवल का नॉलेज रहेगा ठीक है अच्छा सर ये मोड ऑफ लैंग्वेज सर आपका क्या रहेगा सर तो पढ़ाने का मोड ऑफ लैंग्वेज देखो या तो हम हिंदी में भी जा सकते हैं दो अलग-अलग सेशन कर सकते हैं एक हिंदी का अलग सेशन कर सकते हैं इंग्लिश का अलग सेशन कर सकते हैं हम कर सकते हैं ठीक है ड्यूरेशंस ये टू मंथ्स के आसपास रहेगा थर्टी फोर्टी आर्स का रहेगा ठीक है 
डेली हाँ ये वीक डेज पे रहेगा मंडे टू थर्सडे ठीक है और एक घंटे का क्लास रहेगा ठीक है सर ठीक है ठीक है मंडे टू थर्सडे एक दिन का क्लास रहेगा और वन आवर का क्लास रहेगा मंडे टू थर्सडे वन आवर का और टू मंथ्स तक एटलीस्ट टू मंथ्स तक तो रहेगा उसका पहले ही हो जाएगा बट टू मंथ्स तक मैक्सिमम या टाइमिंग 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 के लिए अभी मोस्टली uh, अभी हम दो टाइमिंग सोच रहे हैं एक आठ से नौ और एक शायद छह से सात ये दो टाइमिंग है जिसपे भी सिक्स टू सेवन और इधर एट टू नाइन ये दो टाइमिंग बेस्ट टाइमिंग है जिसपे भी हम लोग आप लोग सजेस्ट करें वी कैन स्टार्ट सर हम हिंदी में पढ़ना चाह रहे तो हमारा बैच अलग बनेगा सर इंग्लिश वालों से देखो हिंदी में अगर हिंदी का अलग बैच बन जाएगा अगर इंग्लिश के लिए अलग बैच आ रहा है तो इंग्लिश के लिए अलग बैच बन जाएगा समझ आया था सर इंटरव्यू तो खैर हम दे देते इंग्लिश में लेंगे सर जो पढ़ाने का ना वो एक बार हिंदी में आ जाता तो समझ आ जाता है जल्दी ठीक है हम हिंदी में भी स्टार्ट करेंगे इसमें कोई बात नहीं हिंदी में भी हम स्टार्ट कर देंगे Any other question, guys? When will be the next class? When will be the next class? Sir? Sorry. Next class. Sir. When next. will be the next class? Sir? Okay. Class. आप लोग आप लोग अभिषेक सिंह को कॉल कर सकते हैं. उन्होंने अपना नंबर शेयर किया हुआ है. आप देख लीजिए. ठीक है. अगर आप लोग को मैसेज जा रहा होगा तो हाँ. इस पे आप सारे doubts आप मैं एक बार फिर से share कर देता हूँ. Please call to अभिषेक सिंह. or uh, they will guide you uh, everything okay i uh, sorry uh, let me explain i have just forwarded to everyone okay so maine abhi just forward kiya aapko aap ye chat pe dekh lijiye ye number hai ye number rakh lijiye aur is number pe call karke ab mr abhishek singh inko aap phone kijiye aur accordingly uh, aap uh, ye sessions english mein hindi mein timing jo bhi cheez hai wo sab sab cheez aapko bata denge okay class kab se start ho raha hai each and everything all information abhishek bata denge aapko theek hai सर ये लैब के लिए लैब 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 का अपना है ओके और और हम सब करेंगे पे ठीक है 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 हमारे पास अच्छा खासा एक्सेस डोंट वरी बहुत अच्छी जो जो भी मैं प्रैक्टिस कराऊंगा वो सब आप अच्छे से जो भी मैं लैब कराऊंगा उसको अच्छे से प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं इच एंड एवरी थिंग्स तो हर क्लास का रिकॉर्डिंग वीडियोस भी अपडेट होता रहेगा ये आप ये सारे डाउट्स आप अभिषेक से पूछ लीजिए उस हर चीज बता देंगे ठीक है ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्लास कब है अभिषेक आपको बता देंगे नेक्स्ट क्लास कब है ठीक है गाइज दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडेज थैंक यू गाइज है नाइस डे मैं क्लास स्टॉप कर रहा हूँ थैंक यू थैंक यू गाइज